Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going back to 1924. Jigoro Kano, who founded Judo, also was very much into education, not just the physical, but also the intellectual and also the moral. So what we will do today is take a look at Seryoku Zenyu Kokumen Tai Iku, so uh, maximum efficiency and also national physical education. So we're going to be looking at a kata. The book will be in the description below, of course, you can check it out, but also it is accompanied by a Kodokan video, which is also be linked in the description below. So we're not just going to be looking at photos, but also the demonstration itself. So um, it's a mix of solo techniques, Tandoku Renshu, Sotai Renshu, and the Sotai Renshu is a lot of Atemi, and there is a lot of self-defense, and also there is the Ju uh, Shiki, which is very much centered around, you know, softness, understanding the flow of motion, and also to understand what Judo is truly about. So you have a mix of everything, grappling, striking, and also basic fitness. So basic fitness, this might seem very, you know, boring or ridiculous to some, but you have to understand that 99% of the people don't train, they're so focused on everything that's unhealthy mentally and physically. So these are very much reminiscent of your Japanese radio Taiso that would uh, look like this. And um, it's just basic fitness that people did at home. Uh, as the title suggests, they would listen to the radio and they would follow the radio. So here you see like these strikes, low kicks, and also a basic striking, which is very good for self-defense and a very good gateway into your grappling. Uh, we're not trying to create elite strikers, but we're trying to you know, be healthy and also um, strike for good kuzushi. So here you see um, the dumbbell uh, taiso that people used to do. These are books that I've linked in the past. I will link the video in the description below. So. Here you see also more of basic fitness. So the idea of um, Seryoku Zenyu Kokumentai Iku is that you have encompassed everything from, you know, the Yawarakai or the Yawara, which is the softness, yielding, and also the fitness and also self-defense because that's what Kano Sensei was about, was about education, self-defense, and the least thing that he was interested in was judo becoming a sport unfortunately so um these again were still in the basic fitness uh, part of it punching down and punching the basic stuff so here you look at the uh, pages where kano is doing the basic uh you know solo drills and on the left side you see the self-defense part is starting is starting on the knees people gripping both your wrist and you should do a strike and also to take from what got from um, uppercut so um, these are stuff that would usually happen like I remember from school uh, where people would actually grab both wrists and trying to intimidate someone uh, it's not again for at least um, fighters against each other just a reminder that your friends that who are in their 30s um, and who are career oriented cannot even bend down to tie their shoes. So these may look silly, but nonetheless, they're important. So you can bend down and touch your toes and have this type of mobility in your body. This is a reminder that judo is not just for the elite athletes that we only look at these days but also it's for the 60 year old woman it's for the little kid for the disabled person so on and so forth so let's start with the self-defense part of it now that you understand that basic general fitness is important here you see basic self-defense someone gripping both your wrist you should know how to act and you know deflect your arms and do basic atemi the knee to the solar plexus is very much effective you don't need much flexibility or high kicking uh, capabilities here also deflecting a punch and going into waki gatame kano not only uh, advocated for these but also he advocated for live drilling he talked about uh, making weapons out of cloth and um, wrapping them so you can 
you know, go full speed and full uh, force and talked about training your reflex. So these are just to maintain them. These are just to preserve them, these types of forms and also learn the fundamentals. So in my opinion, there should be kata class and after the kata, as you see here, you should do it in a more lively way to train proper technique, uh, do it under pressure, do it correctly and also train your reflex. Now here, finally, you saw the knife, you saw the slash of the knife and you saw the basic strike of the knife. Here you see the sword from a cultural standpoint, it's important, but also it is outdated, but uh, a club is still very much alive. Now here, finally, is the uh, Ju Shiki, which is also the Sotai Renshu, um, duo Renshu, not alone, but it allows you to understand the flow of the motion. You can see Ju no Kata being demonstrated by old people, and uh, you might look at it and think, you know, what is this? But there is a lot of fundamentals that are in it, you know, how to keep your body firm so you can land safely and be a good uke, but also how to understand what is uke giving you a story in order to execute technique. It's from grappling and also striking. It's very soft, as the name suggests, Juno Kata, but also very slow. And I understand people's criticism of it. So here you see an entering force, how you deflect it, and then you take the blind side of it and here you continue the roll again i understand why people would you know mock it and criticize it you criticize what you don't understand here someone giving you a rotation to them you keep taking it and into ippon seonage notice uke's body how it is rigid uh, not uh, i'm sorry firm not rigid but this will allow you to safely land if you know, know how to keep your body in this very shape you will help uke but at the same time tori i'm sorry but at the same time you can fall safely here nage no kata is a more lively way of showing you that someone gives you force you can easily take it here it's katate tori now you actually rotate it and then from it you actually uh, also lift and do grappling so from gripping and from striking and so on. Um, the, this kata uh, from the f basic fitness to the self-defense to the Ju uh, principles is very important and I believe that as you learn it there is a lot from it to be gained from knowledge that can be applied so it's not just randori. Uh, basic physical fitness can be also this like the warm-ups that we do in judo. A lot of us in dojos Fortunately, are still doing this. My sensei uh, likes to do these in Kodokan after training. A lot of them create groups and they do like amp training. They do uh, uh, circuit training, the ropes. They work with each other such as these. These are very important and they will create a very healthy body. I, I know a lot of us, we tend to look at Ono. We tend to look at, at all these people, but not a lot, of, a lot of us have the time. Not a lot of us have... Uh, the means or just to pay for gym memberships like in Japan gym memberships cost a ton Not all of them are like city halls where you can just go in like YMCA and train Basically for very little these exercises that are done in judo are more than enough for physical fitness and also the basics for self-defense are found in kata but that's not the only thing that you should be training. Uh, randori is there for a reason. Uh, Nagekomi is there for a reason. Uchikomi is there for a reason. And these types of training, like you saw the uh, Tai Iku, the physical education. So if you want to go to one extreme where you are throwing someone and you're tapping out and you're doing these submissions, you should also go to the other extreme where you are doing things very softly and to f fully understand them and to fully grasp them in terms of their fundamentals and their basics and from there you can create a more centered approach to your own way of grappling everyone has their own expression but you need to visit both extremes so this is the importance in my opinion of uh, serioku zenyu uh, kokumentai iku the video of the kodokan which explains it fully is in the description below as well as the kodokan page uh, that also talks about it, uh, the names of the techniques, etc. Um, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below and consider supporting me on Patreon 
for exclusive content. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.